Welcome to my channel, Light Minded. This is a pick a card reading. This is a timeless reading. Please take the messages that resonate, leave the messages behind that don't fit. So we have group one, group two, and group three. If you need to pause the video to see which um, pile resonates with you, then go ahead and do that. So first I'm gonna go ahead and clear the energy and I will be listing all of the timestamps below. This pick a card reading is for what's next, what's ahead. I've already meditated, I've connected with my guides and I'm wishing you all love and abundance. So let's go ahead and clear the energy. If you wanna take some cleansing breaths during this time, you can as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and begin with group number one. Welcome group number one. Let's go ahead and see what messages spirit has for you. So we have no, we have be kind to yourself for your love message. You have very soon. Clearly decide on what you want so that it comes to you now. So I feel like this energy for some of you, you don't know what you want, you're on the fence, you're deciding between this and that. Spirit is saying really take time to quiet your mind and figure out what you want, you know, if that resonates with your um, romantic situation. We have the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Sun card, and the moon so with the no card coming up here this could be a no this could be a not right now but in between you watching this reading and in the near future if you get a no or if a door is closed on you spirit is saying that that is just not your path there is something bigger and better on the way for you so with be kind to yourself right here, Spirit is saying if you're having any type of negative self-talk or criticizing yourself, you know, try to talk to yourself like a friend. You know, um, speak to yourself in kind words, words that are encouraging, words that are uplifting. Um, you know, you don't want to talk to yourself in a negative way because regardless of the situation, the situation is temporary. <laughs> and you may hear my dog snoring in the background, geez Louise. <laughs> I'm gonna have to kick them out next time, but pink opal may be a good stone for you to carry in your pocket, put it in your purse, put it under your pillow, and it may help you um, with being kind to yourself and, you know, really speaking to yourself in a very gentle way. So for some of you at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups, you know, a connection between you and another person. This could be a romantic interest. This could be your partner, a potential partner. For some of you, this is a relationship between you and yourself, so your higher self. So a certain bond or connection may be in focus for you between now and the near future. So we're starting off with the Nine of Wands. You know, the Nine of Wands is about you being persistent. This is about you not giving up. You are almost near a completion. You are wrapping up a cycle. Um, Spirit is saying, you know, you have a lot of courage here. You have a lot of strength here. Um, you know, you may have faced some challenges, but you've overcome them. So very, very beautiful energy. With the Nine of Wands, also make sure you're taking care of yourself you know, self-care, taking breaks, you know, um, just don't over exhaust yourself because the nine of wands can speak about uh, burnout. I feel like you guys are getting to this point where this is your goal of being the king of wands. Like you want to level up. This is boss energy. Um, and that is what your ultimate goal is. You want to be in charge. You want to be capable. You want to be credible. Eight of Pentacles, you're really focused on the detail. You could be focused on a project, a partnership, you know, but you're really focused and you're very dedicated to whatever you're, you're moving towards, your goals, your whatever you're inspired to do. This is a general reading, so, you know, take the message as they resonate. You have the Eight of Pentacles and you have the King of Cups. So some of you could be focused on another person. Like I said, it could be a relationship. King of Cups is someone that is very supportive. Sometimes the King of Cups to me is like soft on the inside, hard on the outside. But once you like get through the hard surface, this person is very vulnerable. For some of you, I feel like 
as much as you're focusing on the details, as much as you're focusing on the uh, project or goals or whatever you're moving towards, Spirit is saying, don't forget about yourself. Don't forget about nurturing yourself. Don't forget about, you know, um, your emotional needs and your physical needs. You know, <laughs> Spirit just said, take breaks, drink water. So, you know, you are going down this path to the sun card. So that lets me know that you're moving towards this progression um, of happiness. They're showing me like a, a, a golden road, uh, a golden brick road. And, you know, you're moving down this, this energy and it's bringing you to happiness, to joy. Um, you're going to see the fruits of your labor, whatever you're working towards, whether it's a healthy relationship, a, a loving partner, um, a career, whatever it is, you are moving towards that. Look at that. Six of swords. You're going to see things improve in your life, guys. You're going to see yourself going from choppy waters to calmer waters. Things are going to be physically improving in your 3D reality. So very, very beautiful. Ending off, we have the moon card. You know, we don't always have all of the details. So with the moon, sometimes that does bring up uncertainty. Is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? Even though you're moving forward in this beautiful path of happiness and joy, like I said, there are areas in your life where you're, you don't have the answers. Spirit is saying that is where you utilize your intuition. That is where you, you know, you go within and you use your inner voice. Yeah. Yeah. You depend on your inner voice. You depend on the fact that you are valuable, that you are worthy, that you are deserving. Spirit is saying, do not forget that. You don't need all of these things. You don't need this partnership. You don't need all of these outside things to be worthy. You are already worthy just the way that you are. You are whole and complete. I love that. Very beautiful. So I'm going to grab one more card from my light-minded oracle deck. If you would like to purchase this deck that I created, the link is below. Spirit, what additional messages for group number one? You are loved and supported. Very beautiful. So between now and the near future of you watching this video, know that you have uh, love and support. You know, people are wanting to help you. Strangers are wanting to help you. People around you are, are wanting to help you, your guides and your angels. So reach out to them if you need confirmation, if you need assistance. You know, they are going to be there to help you. So very beautiful reading, guys. Please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Wanted to let you know, um, whenever I come on live now, I have a new um, series. It's called Therapy Talk. During Therapy Talk live sessions, I will provide therapy tips along with personal tarot questions. So just trying to merge mental health um, with tarot with spirituality which i think is a very beautiful thing and also in the link below is my waiting list if you would like to see me as a mental health therapist um, the waiting list is in the link below um, the only thing is you have to be located in texas so yeah wishing you guys love and abundance and until next time Group number two, let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for you all. So starting off, we have if you believe. For some of you, you know, Spirit is saying trust in the process, have faith. You may not have all the puzzle pieces, you may not have all the answers, but the more that you believe, the more that you trust in Spirit in the universe, I feel like it's going to come together. They're showing me like a present being wrapped. So do you want your present being wrapped tight and neat and nice? Um, or do you want it just, you know, being all jumbled up? So make sure you're really affirming that you're trusting in the process and that, you know, everything is going to work out in your favor. Um, if you're feeling any type of resistance, keep your thoughts 
and what you affirm very general. If you're worried, like just tell yourself, all is well. Everything is gonna work out in my favor. It really helps, opposed to if you feel that resistance and you make it very specific. Like, I know that at the end of the month, I'm gonna make $12,670.52. Like, that sounds so forced. So, like I said, all is well and everything is working out in your favor. We also have uh, get back into balance. So this stone right here may be very helpful for you between you watching this reading in the near future. So get back into balance. Something is off balance in your life, Spirit is saying. Is it, you know, your energy? Is it your time management? Is it, you know, your self-care? You taking care of yourself? You know, I get the sense that maybe some of you are taking care of other people more than you're taking care of yourself as well. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now take the messages as, as it resonates, but you know, you could have somebody from the past coming back. This could be a love connection. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. Um, you know, I feel like for some of you, there's some type of apology. There's some type of heartfelt conversation. Um, but the ball's in your court if you're going to decide to allow this person back in your life. Because when people leave your life, regardless of how it is, and they come back, you are not the same person. You have changed, you have grown, you have evolved. So, you know, ask yourself if this person is truly in alignment with who you are today, right? Not yesterday, today. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. So some of you may have to make a decision. You may feel a little bit torn about a situation or two people. Um, but Spirit is saying, utilize your intuition. Whichever choice that you pick is the you know, best choice for you. We have the Ten of Wands. Some of you guys, you know, I feel like for some of you, you're tired, you're exhausted. Um, you could be facing some type of burnout. Um, be careful with this energy. You know, make sure you're taking breaks, taking naps, partaking in self-care. The Ten of Wands is about, you know, maybe overworking, maybe putting too much on your plate. Um, but with the Ten of Wands, this is about an ending. This is about wrapping up a, uh, a cycle. When you wrap up this cycle, you're going to be releasing this burden. You know, you're going to be putting down all these bags and, you know, you're going to feel lighter. Yep. So you have the Ten of Wands and you have the Queen of Cups. Spirit is saying, nurture yourself emotionally, physically, everything, mind, body, and spirit. Make sure you are taking care of yourself. Um, don't give all you have to that company, to that job, to that work, to that significant other if you're not giving to yourself, right? You come first. You are the most important person in your life. Because if your cup's not full, how are you going to pour into other people's cups? We have the Seven of Cups here. For some of you, you may have a lot of options. For some of you, I feel like you're kind of all over the place, like time management. Like maybe your time management is off. Um, you have a really busy schedule. This speaks about confusion as well with the Seven of Cups. Spirit just said frantic. Some of you are just like really frantic, just moving all over the place. With the moon card here, there's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of doubt. You know, you may be asking yourself, you know, are things going to be working out at the bottom of the deck, the ace of swords? You know, I feel like things aren't clear. What's not clear, you know? So maybe you need to take that time to reflect and go within because if you have so much on your plate um, that you're not able to connect with your inner world or hear the messages from your intuition, you know, it's really gonna throw off your balance. Two of Pentacles, this is all about balance, right? And we have the Five of Pentacles. There is a lack of balance. Five of Pentacles, all about lack. It's all about seeing the glass half empty and not half full. So, you know, it's really important for you to, you know, be aware of your thoughts. Are you coming from a place of lack? Or are you coming from a place of abundance, right? Whatever this lack is, it's really throwing off your balance and it's really going to, you know, like imagine a radio um, and it's a lot of static. That's how I'm kind of, you know, seeing it right now in my mind's eye. And with all this static, it's going to really, um, delay or interfere with the connection between you and your higher self, you and your intuition.
but you're gonna get there so with the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck I feel like it's gonna be really good for you to like work in silence, work behind the scenes. If you're working at a job that doesn't appreciate you, that doesn't value you, maybe you're planting those seeds behind the, se the scenes um, and you know, interviewing and doing things like that. Whatever you need to do behind the scenes for you, guys, you need to do it. It's gonna pay off. Um, because with the High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles here, you guys have something new coming in, something fresh coming in. With this new beginning, it's going to provide you with more stability. It's going to provide you with more grounded energy. I feel like this new opportunity is going to be a financial increase. You're going to be paid what you're worth. And whatever the situation is, this new beginning, they're not going to be pulling you in like 50 million different places. Um, they're going to respect your your family time they're going to give you that work-life balance and for some of you it may not be about work it may be about a relationship or a partnership and you just feel torn or you feel tired spirit just said you feel tattered <laughs> like i guess like clothes but um just know that this is coming work through this energy if you feel that you know you have too much on your plate you know sit in silence and think about where you can like release some of that burden what can you take off of your plate and you're doing this for you you're not doing this for anyone else because the most important relationship that you have is with yourself right if you can't fill up your cup how can you fill up other people's cups so i'm gonna get you guys a card from my light-minded deck if you would like to order this uh deck then it is in the link below you are the creator of your reality yes you are not just this body. You are not your circumstances, right? You are a spirit having a human experience. When we come down here and we are born, we forget that we can manipulate energy, that we can control energy with our thoughts, with our mind. Guys, remember, thoughts become things. Don't let these people out here mess you up and have you thinking like you have to work 80 hours a week to be successful, to be a millionaire visualize it think about what you want to bring in to your life attract it into your life so very beautiful and at the bottom of the deck like i said some of you guys may need to recharge your battery spend time in nature meditate um, use that pto somebody needs to take some days off it doesn't matter what you need to take your days off for go get a massage you know go take a spiritual bath get some epsom salt relax spirit is saying it is time to relax so very beautiful reading guys please comment below let me know how these messages are resonating also don't forget to like share and subscribe i truly appreciate it wishing you all love and abundance and until next time group number three let's see what messages spirit has for you all So you're starting off with a yes. This is a very beautiful answer. Um, Spirit is saying like your prayers are gonna be answered. Some type of wish is going to be granted. You see the little angel and she has a smile on her face. Know that everything is gonna work out in your favor. And I feel like, you know, for some of you, this yes could bring in some type of financial abundance, financial gain, some type of unexpected financial assistance. So very beautiful energy. All right, so you have release your emotional baggage. This may be a good uh, stone or crystal for you to have. Um, once you watch this reading, you can keep it in your purse, in your pocket, under your pillow, but this is gonna help you release something. You're holding on to something energetically. This could be some type of past hurt, past loss, past sorrow. Spirit is saying, let it go. This would be a very good time to do an um, exercise I call a release letter. Write down in a journal or on a piece of paper, I release what do you need to release do you need to release the relationship that you had with your mother and those feelings or your father or whoever it is that ex-boyfriend that ex-girlfriend someone that hurt you and you still have that feeling of hurt or resentment you know spirit is saying it is time to let it go so you have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so for some of you if it resonates if you're in a partnership spirit is saying make the effort if you are single you know and you're like i can never meet anyone first of all don't say you can't right you want to talk about the things you want not talk about the things that you don't want the universe is always listening so you know make that effort go out to um certain social events you know 
go out to an event that supports your hobbies, that supports your interests, like meetup.com. Like it doesn't have to be like a, um, a love re relationship thing or a dating thing. It could be like your interests, but for some of you out there, spirit is saying, make the effort. And you will know if that message resonates with you. Group number three, I feel like you guys are going through some type of change, transformation, and it's definitely going to bring in some type of new beginnings here with your cards. So starting off with the King of Wands, this could represent your energy or this could represent the person that you're with. The King of Wands is someone that is like a natural born leader, someone that you can count on, someone that's very credible. Um, it's a very passionate energy. So, you know, a very good uh, intimate life as well. So this is a very... Uh, um, fiery energy very hot very steamy love it and this could be you you could be very focused you could be very determined paired with the star card this is a very healing energy this is about wishes being granted so very beautiful between this yes answer this is healing and between you releasing this emotional baggage releasing the hate releasing the anger releasing any lower vibrational energies releasing anything that is the opposite of the vibration of love is really going to heal you and help you really you know move you away from this energy of conflict guys you are moving into the six of wands you're moving into to success recognition you know someone's gonna see you you know in all of your grace and all of your glory like I love it you're moving towards the ace of Pentacles this is about a new beginning right this could be a new job this could be a new opportunity this could be uh, emotional security but it's something from the long run it's something that's very solid something that's very grounded for some of you, you could be getting some type of promotion, some type of raise. So it could be in a, so it could be some type of financial gain as well. With this Ace of Pentacles, guys, you are wrapping up some type of cycle. You are reaching some type of milestone. You completed this successfully, and you know, Spirit is saying you're you're gonna have the rite of passage to move on to this new beginning. Very beautiful. There's a lot of fulfillment here for some of you. If you're focused on love, there's an increase in love. There's an increase in some type of intimate bond. I love that. You have the Judgment card. Oh, Spirit just said, New Year, New You. You're gonna feel brand new. You're gonna feel like a sense of, of renewal. I feel like there's a lot of healing. You're releasing a lot of hurt. You know, maybe you need to forgive some people in your life. Maybe you need to forgive yourself, but you're gonna be letting that energy go that you've been holding on to. Spirit is saying, you know, holding on to that energy does not look good on you. It does not look good on you. Yes, and some of you, you have to do some soul seeking. You have to fo follow your divine light. What do you need to let go of? When it comes to your emotions, what do you need to let go of? What is not helping you? What is what is like, you know, holding you back from expanding and growing? And I feel like it has to do with another person. So very beautiful reading, guys. You're definitely going to have some type of financial gain or some type of new uh, opportunity coming in here. So please comment below. Let me know how these messages resonate. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Oh yeah, I was going to grab you guys a light-minded oracle deck card. I jumped jumped ahead. Um, I created this deck. If you would like uh, one of these decks, then the link is listed below. Also, if you're looking for a mental health therapist and you're located in Texas, then Go ahead and click the link below as well for my waiting list. I would love to see each of you. All right, your message is you are whole and complete. Yes, you are whole and complete. I feel like for some of you with this release, this emotional baggage, you might have had people tell you in your life that you weren't good enough, that you weren't going to amount to anything. Guys, that had nothing to do with you. That had to do with them and their insecurities, and they just pushed it on you. You are whole and complete regardless if you have that new car or you have that new love or you have that new job. You are whole and complete just the way that you are without any of the materialistic things in your life. So very beautiful reading. So I wish you guys love and abundance. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and until next time.